Mm, well, speaking of Chauncey Billups, let's say hello to the 2004 NBA Finals MVP, my man Chauncey! <laughs> Detroit Basketball! <laughs> you silly, right. man. Okay, once again, you guys are flying high this year, and um, I'm really behind you. I'm pushing it, and uh, I want to know something. When you win the NBA championship this year, will you and Rip bring the whole crew right back here on the set? Yeah, the whole come on. Detroit. You know we're coming yeah. back. We're coming back, for sure. Right on. Yeah, we're coming back. Hey, uh, like Sal said, you guys have been playing at a high level all season long. Now, looking back at the last three years, man, is this the best Piston team? I don't know. It, it's tough, man. It's tough to beat the team when we want it. Um, I mean, but I think we definitely got a chance to be just as good. I mean, I think we're older and smarter right now, so obviously that makes a difference. But um, we'll see, man. We'll see. Well, you say you're older and smarter, and obviously a lot of guys start off slow, and you kind of had a slow start to your NBA career. But now mm -hmm. where you are, and I'm watching you the other day shoot threes from almost half court, how did your game go from when you got into the NBA to where it is now? I mean, just a lot of hard work, really. I mean, a lot of hard work. I mean, I've been in a lot of different cities, a lot of different coaches. Um, nobody really believed that what I could do. Um, I always believed it. I never gave up on it. And finally, I got an opportunity to, to run the show when I came here to Detroit, and I just haven't looked back since. All right, now, last week we had uh, Coach Carl off from the Nuggets, and uh, I asked him who he thought MVP was, and listen to what he said. One choice for MVP right now, this season. Come on, come on, Coach. Chauncey Billups. Oh, yeah. Really? It might not be the most talented, but the guy that operates his team is as valuable as a skilled athlete that can make 25 or 30 a night. Chauncey Billups, I think, has been fantastic. I think he's the best clutch player in, the, in a playoff game in the last three years. Wow. Not a lot of talent, but you got <laughs> skills, son. You got skills. All right, so listen, if you had to vote, just one vote right now. You had to vote for the MVP. Who would you give it to? I'd give it to myself, man. Smart, smart. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man. I mean, you know, like, I, I ain't really, I ain't no self-promoter or nothing like that. But, I mean, I think I'm deserving. But I think it's a lot of other guys deserving as well. So, I mean, whoever they give it to, I think LeBron is playing great right now. And what he means to his team is unbelievable. Of course, Steve Nash is worthy. Dirk's worthy. That's a lot of guys, man. But, you know, if I have my vote, you know, I'm voting for me. <laughs> be a good vote. Not going to yeah, be the yeah. only guy. All right, let's vote for the best starting five in basketball. It's pretty clear. It's your Detroit Pistons. You went 73 games, starting the same five players every single game till Rashid had that one too many technical fouls and had to serve the suspension. Sheet is sheet. I, I know that now, Chauncey. But at this point in your friendship, in, in your teammateship, if you will, do you try to calm him down or do you just let Sheed be Sheed? Nah, Sheed is going to be Sheed, man. I mean, Sheed means well. Um, Everybody knows he's an emotional player. He plays with that, that emotion on his sleeve every single night. And, you know, some of the calls that he get caught against him, I don't see him caught against nobody else. So sometimes he don't get a fair shake. But he's going to be him, though. Mm. All right, now last week, Big Ben uh, didn't want to go in the game last week. And, you know, we already got Larry Brown out of town for you. Asked him to do some things. I got him out of town for you. Is, anything, <laughs> is there a problem between him and Flip? Nah, nah, they good, man. They good. I mean, it was just, you know, long season, man. Personalities clash every now and then. Um, you know, we got a lot of veterans, man. We got a great, a great crew, man. We, we settled that. It's no problem. Uh, my former teammate, real quiet guy, but real powerful, really big red hand, named Joe Dumas, <laughs> was, uh, <laughs> was elected to the <laughs> NBA Hall of Fame. Yeah. And uh, I asked him to come on the show. He didn't come on, but I wanted you anyway. Um, no, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm just being serious. Uh, tell me, <laughs> silly, man. Crazy, tell, man. tell me how much credit Joe deserves on bringing you guys back into the uh, into the he, prime I mean, time. Joe Joe deserves all the credit, really, man. I mean, it took somebody from that team that y'all played on, and you know the kind of dynasty that y'all built that know what it takes. And Joe was a great person for it. Um, he knows what kind of personalities mesh, what kind of talents mesh out there. He always seems to pick a great coach, and he's he's just done a phenomenal job with with building, you know, this team back to dominance. Hey, Chauncey, now, Sal just mentioned uh, Flip Saunders. What's the biggest difference of uh, playing with him as opposed to Larry Brown? Um, the biggest difference is probably offensively, he just, you know, it's free reign. You know, he take, he take the handcuffs off you. Um, he lets you play a little bit. He lets you play with freedom. But at the same time, you know, we got sets that we run a lot. He lets us get up and down in transition. 
Um, whereas the last few years, last three or four years, our offense has really struggled. All right, now let's speak to Larry for a moment. Now let's just be, should we be nice? Should we say that the, the Knicks are a poor team this year, Chauncey, or should we just say they're awful? <laughs> I mean, let's just be honest. They're hey. awful this year. Have you ever seen, I know Larry, your old coach is there, Larry Brown, have you ever seen a team with so much talent perform so poorly? No, I haven't, man. I haven't. I mean, it, it really is a sad thing to see, man. They got so many great players. I mean, if you look at on paper, I mean, they should be one or two best teams in, in this conference. And, you know, they're, they're one of the worst right now. But you can't just put all great players together. You know what I mean? You got to have the right mix of guys. And I think they proved that. All right, Chauncey, forget all the basketball stuff. You know you made it big time when you're on the cover of a video game. Now yeah, describe yeah, yeah. NBA Ballers Phenom and tell us why we should run out there and get this game. Man, NBA Ballers Phenom, it's, it's a hot new game, man. I mean, it's kind of like bringing the NBA and hip hop together as one. Um, myself and, and Ludacris are mentors on the game. So the player that's playing the game, they have a choice. They either go like the entertainment hip hop side or they go the basketball side or they go basketball, I'll be their mentor. They go hip hop, Ludacris will be it. But it, I mean, it's a great game, man. It's fun. I mean, you, it's a, it's the custom game. Like you can, you can create any kind of character you want. As far as basketball goes, from the jewelry, to the clothes, to the body structure, everything. I mean, it's it's a sweet game. One on one, two on two, three on three. It's a sweet game. Got it. All right. Ron Artest must be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> he doesn't know where to go. All right. So uh, you can design yourself to be anything, and you wear that suit on the cover? No, I'm joking. Hey, hey, come, hey, sa hey Sally. I'm Sally. just joking. I but, seen what you be wearing on hey, that show, Sally. Hey, hey. I seen it. I watched hey, the show, baby. Let's not get going. I can wear jewelry. Hey, I can too. All just right. not on the bench. <laughs> oh, y'all trying to joke? No, he was talking about the lead. Oh, he's talking about the dress code, you bums. All right, so your cousin Lindell is coming on the show. You know, USC Trojan, big dog in the house, the whole thing. And you got to give me a little something on him before he gets on the show. Tell me something about your cousin that he really doesn't want us to know. Nah, you you all know everything about him already. I mean, he's just, he like he always been as a kid. He's just a little hard-headed knucklehead, man. Oh. You ain't going to talk about the Mercedes-Benz in, in the house that USC gives players? Whoa, whoa, I just oh, play wow. it. I just play it. Rodney, they don't get their players wow. much. <laughs> nah, I ain't even, even going to do that. Yeah, I'm joking. Yeah, let that go. He's going to yeah. take a pay cut coming to the league. From a Pistons family affair to another family affair. Coming up next on Best Damn, we will talk, Chauncey, to your cousin, former USC All-American running back, Glendale White. So stick around with us, Chauncey. Yes, sir. All right, we'll